New day, new heart off. I, from memory, has the best junk section. Like just a ton of it. So hopefully it still does. So it's a DSI boxed for 21. Vita, that's the colour I actually would love. Some Game Gears, stuff like that. Oh, the disc system, 44. I bought that last year. Yep, it still has its great, crazy amount of junk. Okay, so pretty much we're gonna go through all these games. Let's take a quick Instagram photo. Let's have a look. Got that yesterday. There we go. Got the third one for the collection today for a dollar. Let's have a look. Oh, pretty good. It's a scratch, but I know that, that that will play. So, yeah, very happy with that. Like there's so many PS1 tubs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Tracer that was. Tekken. Up here, there's some stuff at this system for 30 to 40. Um, heaps of Xbox 360s at like ranging between 10 to 16. Absolute classic. It's pretty hammered. Do you know Crisis? Sure, what that is, I might look that up. A 
Go Code Veronica Dreamcast version. I do have this, but um, yeah, like this is in the junk section. I think I bought this um, one of my first trips for a couple of dollars back then, but uh, in Kyoto, so it's pretty cool though for a dollar. Some Final Fantasies. And there too, quite a number of them. Yes. Ratchet and Clank for a dollar. Side one, a freestyle pro controller. That's pretty different. So it's got 540 yen on it. PC game. Oh, more PS1 games. Gran Turismo 1 and 2. There's like a lot of racing, horse racing games. Um, Saturn and PlayStation. Sorry, I'm in my zone of thinking of so many things. Got some carts we can go through for Game Boy as well. A lot of, um, JRPGs that I just can't play. Dreamcast passports. Check I looked in this one. Super Robot Wars.
think there's anything really in here. The DS games at the bottom are all like the simulator ones. Oh, learning ones. Um, there's, there's one. Dr. Mario. A little faded, but cartridge. Pretty good. So even if you were looking for the manual for Donkey Kong 2, it's just randomly sitting there. Or instructions for an N64, which um, is actually pretty good. I don't, I don't have manuals in all of mine, so maybe that is something I would get um, to consider. Definitely, oh, another Dr. Mario. Another Kirby pinball. Oh, that's Kirby. More manuals. GameCube manual. And Super Famicom. There's like golf, basketball, uh, I don't think there's really anything else, but sometimes you can come across um, better games than Dr. Mario, obviously, but um, sometimes I've found Donkey Kong games in here. Um, so yeah, some of these Dr. Marios aren't too bad condition, like Game Boy Color, Donkey Kong. But I don't see any today. But yeah, that's probably not bad. The N64 manual. Because I know that a couple um, of my Japanese variants are missing them. And I know that the NUJ number is not going to match. But at least it's a manual in there for a dollar. And then there's a couple of... Dr. Mario, so that one's pretty tidy. That one's been in the <laughs> machine for a while, so it's a bit yellowed, and that one's a bit faded. But yeah, not bad. Two little finds. And these PS1 games. Some oh, Famicom, Super Famicom. Give him Mario cuts in the dollar bin. It looks pretty wrecked though, like the cartridge is yellow and stuff like that. But other games in here are a lot of Pachinko and Sport. Um, F1 game. Final Fantasy, so there's a Dragon Ball Z game. Not bad, Nick, the back of it isn't too yellowed. And yeah, just loads more pachinko and baseball and stuff like that. And that one. Ooh, 
there you go. Donkey Kong 3 for a dollar. Now, that cart would probably be cleaned up. Pretty cool. Just comes down to if you really want to get the game for a dollar or something and then you know, take the risk as well that it's not going to be working. But I found most of the things that I've purchased from junk have worked after they've been cleaned up <coughs> properly. Oh, it's a Dragon Quest, soccer, 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 Mario. And there we go, Chrono Trigger. That one's got 540 on it. Sim City Parlor, which is Chinko. There we go. Donkey Kong Country 2. Just needs a good clean. I don't know what that is. Space Bazooka. I might take a risk on that. A lot of baseball, soccer. Okay, nothing else really. Um, just a couple of boxed Famicom games just sort of sneaky down there, but um, they're pachinko or soccer. Or baseball but for a dollar if you were looking to bulk your collection or you wanted a full set of um, Super Famicom like yeah you can't go past picking up games for a dollar unboxed okay it's at the top Pretty cool. So PlayStation 1 um, Optech. It says cockpit on it, so that's pretty cool. So it's like 10 bucks. It's the aftermarket one. I'm sure it's probably working. This might just be missing its power. Oh, it's USP, there you go. So, 540. I kind of feel bad leaving this here. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put the Donkey Kong maybe. Or I did see Donkey Kong 3 here too, didn't I? I might put them aside. I'll just put them aside. I can always message friends and see if they might be interested in them. But I'm gonna come back and um, pick here in a sec. I just need to have a look for a basket. Okay, we're back. Got the basket. What is that? Okay. So N64 games, a lot of Pokemon, sport, Diddy Kong Racing's in there for a dollar. Like 
Pokemon Stadium one and two are in there for a dollar each. I doubt I'll find Sin and Punishment. But Donkey Kong 64 dollar. Oh no, it's 3.30 on that one. These will all be like, yeah. Not worth going through. Mario 64. Um, there's also Mario Tennis and Mario Golf in there. Wave Race, Hey You Pikachu. PS2 version. That looks so cute. I wonder what that is. It's not in there. Damn it. Like that's brand new. Nothing really up the top. Checked everything else. Go and have a look in the other part. And there's nothing really across the top. There is a gun con box. Put some tape on it. Looks in pretty good condition actually. So that's 324. I'll definitely pick that up. More controllers. And as an example, there's the unboxed gun for the same price, three um, hundred as much as the box one is. So it's crazy. This is cool. Heaps of different little recorders in here. It's a mini disc. Very, very cool. Love going through all that stuff. An old Sony one.
<laughs> that, that's so cool. Some Walkmans. Oh, that's heavy. Imagine carrying, that is really heavy, carrying that around. So down here we've got some consoles, um, Super Famicom, GameCubes, Wii's, N64's, and then also I've got a ton of guns um, here just for some reason. So some have got 540, and they got this PlayStation kids. Kid station controller. It's pretty neat. good nick it's not too scratched up um, it, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work and it doesn't have a price on it so this one when I go to to buy it it's gonna be one dollar so I'm definitely gonna pick that up too nice PS3 controller Sega Saturn controller. They actually sell for quite a bit in um, Australia. PS Vita case. Not the nicest looking one, but. We. Cute little Pokemon case for a dollar. I don't know what that would hold though. But yeah, it might even be a cute little display piece or something. I don't know. Pretty cute. gonna have some roasted batteries in there. I'm not even gonna open that. Memory cards. As we all know I love to grab these when I'm over here. Some of the PlayStation 2 ones um, I say 324 and then I normally only pick up all the different colours when they're a dollar. But yeah, they're all marked 324. Like they're so nice, I love all the different colours. DMG, I've got 16.50 on it. That's crazy. One just one in here today. 5.50. Just might have to put a couple of things over there. It's, it's a little heavy. So heaps of um, DS lights. Try and get it on. Broken hinge. Oh. 
be interested to see if that one actually works. Um, I normally do bring a five-in-one charger with me when I uh, come to Japan because I will try and charge them up a little bit to test them. That one's got a bit of, feels like a bit of a broken hinge too. I've had this controller for a couple of years. Remember it. So N64 controller. Um, 3.30, I think. And Dreamcast, um, 5.50. Doesn't look like it's in bad condition. Um, and it does come with the um, VMU, but I'm not sure it looks like that, that part might have been cracked, the VMU. Ten ten for a dollar ten. Oh, it's got a little chip in it. What a shame. So there's even the Mario Kart variant, the black on the front and the grey at the back. Um, they're five forty. Super Famicom controllers look average about three twenty five. More N64 controllers. Nothing that's bright. And... What's that? Very nice. So 540. Um, the two tone. One's probably not too bad actually. It's only got a couple of little scratches on it, but the stick is actually really, really good condition. Um, no cracks, bit di bit of discoloration, but I reckon that's pretty good for 540. I'm going to pick that up. There's a red one. Again, that's pretty nice condition. Green, uh, yellow and blue and more greys <laughs> at the back and another green, looks like down there. It's got a big scratch on it. So Wii controller, three, uh, 330. The Wii is really cheap here. Um, I've noticed like since I came here last time. Um, for some reason, yeah, it just seems like the, um, just really, really dropped from maybe popularity or something like that. And they just seem to be filled with a lot of Wii so far. But that's probably not too bad. Like I don't think it's high gloss and it's scratched a little bit, but it's not bad. The 330. I might put it in my the thing and think about it. Because I can always pop everything back in here later if I don't want it. Okay. Clear PS1 controller for 324. Pretty good. It's got like bits of tape on it. Again, put it in the maybe pile. OK, 
cables. Never disregard the cables because uh, sometimes you could find different ones with S video. For one time I found it looks like a genuine um, SNES or N64 cable with that S video lead. I really should show you a photo of that on my Instagram because I don't know much about it because I didn't realize that they may have been released. So if you guys know anything about that, definitely hit the comments and let me know. Um, but in the back here, we've got some PS2s. It's a bit rough. Oh, here we go. Up the top here, there's a boxed Super Famicom. With no price. Oh no, sorry it does. Five fifty. A bit of yellowing and stuff, but you know, it's not terrible. And something that we've always wanted, but we haven't picked one up yet. It's eight sixty. I'm checking the PS2s in case they say test. Okay, so those controls I had a bit of a look at. So there's some GameCubes. Now the GameCubes are all have the same price of $540 each, just for the actual console. Um, the Wii's um, probably would be about the same. And there's a random N64 there for five, $5.50. Heaps of Super Famicoms. They're three thirty. dollars um, And then in here there's a Sega Saturn, which is one ten, And some Famicom units 330 so there's three in there so there's pretty good stuff here there's my basket already full of different bits and pieces so from the junk section. Let's go check out the game section and the cabinets. Oh, it's very interesting. An RGB cable, PlayStation box one, 650. It actually kind of looks new. That's pretty cool. I haven't come across that before. I've got the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare console down there. Hopefully we can find some bargains. Sorry if I was just a bit quiet then. There's just someone working on one of the displays. Okay. Now that Pokemon Rocky was like 160. I'm never gonna get it cheaper than, I don't know, that maybe, but I'm just can't bring myself to pay for that, that much. I'd still like to get a bargain. So at the moment I'm looking for Sin and Punishment on the N64. I did see it two days ago and when I went back to uh, Akiba, I <laughs> was gone. 
it was gone. Um, but for an example, Diddy Kong Racing box is 864. And Banjo is 1620. But I got that really cheap years ago for like five bucks. So it just shows how much pricing really has gone up. There's his own two. Heaps of cards. I almost have a way to display mine like this. Sort of similar. Do you reckon that'll look good in the games room? I just have like a long rack of them and then, you know, obviously package them in something like this because you can reseal it. I think that might look pretty cool. Nothing stands out at the moment. CDs. Some um, probably NTSC like American games down there. Nothing else really. Then Super Famicom. Final Fight's 1100, not bad. And uh, Yoshi's Island is 864, cheap. So all these games along here um, are ranging between like 10 to 1900. Five forty for Donkey Kong Country. And so a game I'm looking for is um, Hammer and Harry. I believe it's called, um, but without the picture to look for it, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. I know the cart has like a, a picture like that like a little kid on it. But I'm not sure what the box looks like. So. But some of these cartridges are really cheap, like 330. Might even tempt me to get a few carts today. standout games there. PS1.
through 24. Ace Combat 3 is 800 yen. Alundra. I think I can actually play this one. It's 540. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put that to the side. I always double check everything as I'm leaving. Um, so going hard off shopping can take quite some time like when you by the time you um, get here and then go through the store pretty much like top to bottom and then I make a little pile and then work out if they are games that I remember I can play um, or do I own the PAL version is it something I want to collect like in this instance I'm trying to collect the Resident Evil variants Interesting. Um, so yeah, I'd, then I'll sit sit down sort of somewhere and work it out. Absolutely beautiful looking games and unfortunately I just cannot play them. Chasey Express. That looks cool. Hmm. Deluxe pack. Eight 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 eighty. I don't think we have that variant. It's just got tape on the front of the case, which isn't bad. I feel like that was a possibly a good good pickup. It's a Digimon. Okay, so yeah, there's another version of it. This 1296 it doesn't have the tape. The one thing that I do, um, and I have done in the past, is I've bought quite a number of games from the junk section and um, taking them home um, to replace the ca um, cases. But I've stopped doing that over the years now because it does end up being <laughs> quite heavy. Okay, Diablo. Insect Zoo. Game Wars. The artwork is just insane. Tomb Raider series. Um, so Tomb Raider is like 540, 540-540. Was 
some Rockman games down here too. There are a thousand. Which isn't bad actually. Crenna Cross, 3.30. Take my normal spot on the. There we go. G police. Uh, a lot of people um, love this game. So there's a the Japanese variant. Very very cool. Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. The Hidden Empire. 324. Maybe. Oh, yes. It's a great game. Pretty cute. All right, so off the floor, um, I don't think there was really anything except for what I picked up for the PS1. Um, but PS2, got some collector's editions, stuff like that there. Um, oh, what's this? I haven't seen this before. Gun Survivor 2 Biohazard Code Veronica with Gun Con 2. Um, 2160. Oh, that is sick. I'm, I've never come across this before. Normally I have, I do collect all the Time Crisis um, variations, which um, you guys know, but I didn't know about this, so 20 bucks, probably converts to 30. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting that as a shooter fan. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That is awesome. All right, let's keep looking around. I might just go put this down so it's in the basket. Safe. That's a good find. That buyer has a thing, do you reckon? Retro Gamer guy is nodding his head. Right, PSP. Mmm. R-Type Tactics. It's expensive though, it's 43.20. It wasn't like four bucks. <laughs> I'm actually also looking for Catherine on the Vita. I believe it's an exclusive for Japan, but I haven't come across it yet. Oh, you were looking for this? Set? It's not faded, it's 3.30. That is awesome. Last year we actually did pick up uh, quite a few of these and I gifted them um, to Gundam Rust Gaming, Luke Likes Games and um, uh, Too Busy Gamers. So definitely check out their YouTube channels. They're friends of mine from Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, it looks like they've got quite a few of them again here. So they've got three sets. They've got one for 550, one for 324, but it is, yeah, that's, rusting so hopefully this one is pretty good condition so that's going in the basket for 3 30. thank you what a find 
Now, um, I'm also looking for the variants of um, Look at the um, metal on that one. Oh, they put the big set together too. Um, I bought this for Retro Gamer Guy on our first trip, um, which was quite a long while ago now. This is Castlevania, PS3 pack. Soundtrack as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's definitely um, different. Um, that's Uncharted One and Two Twin Pack. Very cool. Is an Uncharted Pack there? Uncharted Pack. Bit expensive though. Yeah, it is, but damn. See, Uncharted games are really expensive here, whereas they've been like super cheap at other stores. Um, I picked them up for a friend of ours. That's crazy that they're like, pretty expensive here. The Yukaza games. Well, that looks cool. There's another Biohazard um, pack, HD remaster. And a huge Grand Theft Auto. PS4, um, Xbox. It's kind of cute game. Xbox One. And the good stuff. So we've got some Sega Saturn. So PC Engine, Gradius, very clean copy, 27. To get all these PC Engine games in all honesty, but they're just too expensive. Look at what that one is. I might look that one up. I haven't even got to the... Ah, look at that. What are the odds of finding that? Snatcher. How much? Um, three, two. Pricey, I know.
Didn't have the city room. Little baskets getting full. Okay, so we've got the Wii, Wii U, um, DS, and also 3DS. As I said, there is that only that one game um, that I'm looking for. But if you've got any other suggestions on DS um, schmucks, please let me know. I'd love to know. You can always keep an eye out for them. Heaps more DS here. 